the Crelux system derived from P1 bacteriophage is a potent and specific system for controlling gene expression. Cre recombinase plays an important role in the life cycle of the P1 bacteriophage, such as cyclization of the linear genome and resolution of dimeric chromosomes that are formed after DNA replication. How does it work? The system consists of Cre recombinase and Lux P sites. The Lux P site consists of 34 base pairs, an 8 base pair spacer region, and two flanking palindromic sequences, 13 base pairs long each. When the Cre protein is expressed, it recognizes and binds to these palindromic regions in a LUXP site, forming a dimer. Then, former binds to the dimer in another LUXP site, forming a tetramer. The strands are cut by the Cree protein and rejoined by DNA ligase. Orientation and location of the LUXP site determines how the genetic material will be rearranged. Three variants are possible. Inversion is the LUXP sites in opposite orientations, deletion, in the case of the same orientation and translocation if the sites are on separate DNA molecules. By expressing Cree recombinase at specific times or locations, you can precisely control expression of your gene of interest. You can use it in a vast number of organisms due to the ability of enzyme to operate efficiently in a wide range of cellular environments, including mammals, plants, bacteria, and yeast. What is so great about it? It is very simple since we need just Cree recombinase and Lux P sites. No special cofactors are needed. It is universal and of course it can be tissue specific due to the possibility of using tissue specific promoters. So how you can control transcription using it? First of all, you need to get an organism with both gene of interest flanked by Lux P sites and gene encoding the Cree recombinase. To this end, you simply breed the Cree mice with so-called fluxed mice having a gene flanked by Lux P sites. In this particular case, completely modified cells will produce only GFP serving as a reported gene, and other cells will produce only the target gene. Thus, using such a system, you can implement knockout study. It's useful because in many cases, systematically deleting the gene would produce an embryonic lethal phenotype rendering your experiment useless because you can't observe the effect of the deletion. If you need to know more about Crelux system, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Good luck.